Hey guys, it's Christina Andino with the Jasinski Home Team at Baird & Warner and I am out here in front of one of our listings at 9720 West 58th Street in Countryside. And I'm out here today because I want to chronicle this little piece of Countryside history for you because it's going to be changing hands in a week or so. And um, this house was built in the 1940s. It was one of the first houses in Countryside. And I just wanted to chronicle this for everybody. Um, you know, before new owners take over. So come along with me and I'm gonna give you a little, a little tour here of the property. So this home was built in 1947 by Cheryl Lynch for his wife, two kids. Um, they bought it in 1947 when land was going for $1,000 per acre. So they bought an acre and initially this cottage was built first. So Cheryl worked at Electromotive and uh, he worked, you know, nine to five during the week. And then in the evenings, he came home on the weekends, worked on the cottage, and this is it. And so the family lived here for five or six years. Um, and then they, he started to work on what was called the big house. So this is the other structure. And this was built in the fifties. And it's a three bedroom, one bath ranch, which, you know, that was considered a good size home in those days. Um, and eventually everybody moved into that structure and the cottage was rented out. Now in those days you could rent the cottage out. Nowadays, um, ordinances prohibit that, but, um, so they, they rented that out and then they homesteaded. So the property was originally an orchard, a uh, fruit orchard, and there was evergreens and things like that. So I'm going to take you back here so you can see a little bit of the the acre and what was back here so they homesteaded they grew vegetables they had flowers they kept bees they sold uh, pine trees everything was organic they ate what they grew and worked during the week full time so this is the land and we'll take a little walk back here so this little structure back here was a prefab delivered, I believe from Sears or Montgomery Wards, and it was one of those kits that you would have delivered in pieces and you would put it together. So that was used for storage mainly. Um, I think they had some of the honey extracting equipment in there and some other things. And this fenced area was garden. It's not now, but, but it was in the day. And then you can kind of see where the land goes back to. So it's a nice deep plot. And here, some of the pine trees still are. But um, yes, this was a fruit orchard at one time. And the last structure to be built was the garage back here. Um, and it housed truly the Airstream trailer. And a lot of this information was given to me by the Lynch's daughter, Janet, who grew up and lived here a lot of her life. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Lynch, her parents, lived here until their 90s. Um, and now, now the home is ready for new owners and it's gonna be changing hands in probably a week or so. But I just wanted to show this to everybody because originally, this was probably one of it, maybe five homes around here because you know now this is by ideal school in between lagrange road and east avenue so at the end of east avenue back in that day many of you may not know this but there was a little piper cup airport called stinson airport and it could be seen from here but now you know this is all subdivision with lots of houses and, and businesses around so it, it's not like it used to be back in the day there was maybe only five homes it was just meadows gravel roads no sidewalks so this is one of the original structures from then and i just wanted to show everybody so that when you drive by down 58th street and you see this house, you'll know a little bit about the history and how significant this is for countryside. Thanks for coming along on my little tour.